ask the student who is for the student newspaper to come up. I didn't hear your name please. Well, there are two. There's Badger Herald and David I will Carter. like to hear both, please. Okay. So, well, each of the others come up. If you don't mind. Thank you for coming here and speaking up. And I need to learn from you. So the question would have to be <coughs> answer to the best of your ability. There's a lot of mentioning about student representation. And there's also some claim that the people selected represent 25% of Madisonian. I guess it's based on the number of students on campus and the total number of the city. My question is that when there's election, what kind of turnout, please tell me, how many students percent show up and vote for these reps? So uh, it doesn't matter who of you would like to answer it first. Please just give me some numbers. Uh, in terms of uh, representatives? For the student council. For this. For the student the not, not only for the order, but for also the student council that present the. Oh, for the yes. student uh, I mean, I think for the student uh, city council districts, I think there is a lot of participation. Uh, I think Brian had to go through a primary where there was four or five different candidates. And, uh, Just give me the number, please. How many uh, I votes? Mean, out of, out of maybe a, the a, total. a district out of a thousand, I would say maybe you know anywhere from 300 to maybe 500 students might vote. That um, voted for um, But I, I guess, and then for ASM, actually they had much higher turnout this year than they had at, in previous years. I think they had a, a, don't quote me on the numbers, but I think they had a 30 to 50% higher turnout this year than they had in previous years. So both of you gentlemen truly believe that the people selected really represent the entire student body at the university? It's a referendum on <laughs> No, the reason is because the decision is going to be made for the entire city of Madison. And I do respect the student voice, and I do respect students at the university. I just wonder if you claim, or uh, whoever claims representing 25% of this city, really have that constituents. So if you have the number, please just share with us. The number was speak for us. I don't have a number. No. I, I can say there is some apathy among students, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a considerable amount of involvement. It doesn't say that there aren't those of us out, out there who care and who can represent people who uh, have stated my fingers. Uh, you know, I would, I would just sort of say that, you know, students, you know, uh, you know, I think they're passionate about, you know, when someone says they're passionate about the ALRC, uh, your average student may not know what it is, but if someone says that you're passionate about how your neighborhood looks, about where you're going downtown for entertainment and going to people who are 18 or younger than 21 or depending on sort of police and alcohol policies, I think your average student would say that they're very passionate about that. I don't doubt that. Thank you. A uh, question is somewhat personal, also for both of you gentlemen. Do you drink? I am 22 and I, and I have uh, I have drunk in the On a regular basis? <laughs> Thank you. And, and how about you, please? Do you drink? No, no the reason is. Wait, 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 please, everyone, let's get a little order here, okay? Father, I'm not sure what the relevance of that question is. It is so very relevant, question? Mr. Mayor, because if they are very passionate and very interested in serving on this particular committee, making decisions for the entire industry, and that affects this city for years to come, I do have a reason to ask very honestly. If they don't want to answer, that's fine. Okay, but, but Alder, I don't think either of them are interested in serving up. No, I, I know that, but they are speaking, sort of coming here in support of that. 
So in many ways, they are the voice for the student. Okay, I'm going to say something very differently. Please allow me. Do you have a question? Do you have a question on it? I do. Okay. Because you write the newspaper for the university. On the average, the students who are so passionate serving um, these representation body. What usually is the average term that they say in town? Is that during the time on campus, or it's just like when they get graduated, get a job, get a fiance, they be moving away? We want to retain the student here. So if you are so passionate and you want to make decisions for things that are going to be in Madison, I asked a question, and I think maybe if you don't want to answer, any of the student representative here can say, when it's so passionate, are you here with us for the long haul? When you make commitment to serve and decide for us, we want to be sure we are students, in for the long haul. Just because students are a transient group doesn't mean they can't make a difference while they're here. Just because students, students in the past have, think, think, think about the, the student involvement in, in, during the Vietnam War protests. I know that. Just ask questions and answer them here. Let's not have to do it. Yes, please don't digress. I leave to you. Any other questions? I haven't done my answer yet. I haven't done my answer yet. You know, I, I, I guess I would just say that I, I would just point down to, uh, to Alder King, uh, who was here for many years and who was eventually president of the council. I would point out that Representative, uh, you know, uh, Judge, that he's here for only uh, for his term. He did a lot of his term. I think Brian has made a lot of moves forward. Uh, I guess I would also say that no older or representative on committee signed the pledge of sort of how long they're going to be there. It's only that they're going to do the best job they can in the time that they have. Uh, I don't doubt that. So a quick last question. If any of you could be very succinctly just summarize the Madison Density Plan. Just very succinctly, please. Mayor, what a word. In all due respect, you know, we have a, a this, this, this is not relevant to what's before us. And so I would suggest to uh, my fellow Alder that because the density plan is not before us, that that is not germane, that is not germane. You cannot take it up. Alder, what's the purpose of your question? The purpose is that if they are going to be the voting member, I want to know for sure they have the knowledge. Well, again, Alder, I think the, I think the key point here is that neither of these gentlemen have been nominated to be a voting member. I know that. <laughs> Alder, do you have Alder, do you have an additional question? Beyond I got my answer, sir. Oh. Thank you. All right, thank you. And thank you, speakers. Additional uh, questions, Alder Ronald, do you have questions? Thank you. Alder Ronald. While you guys are up here, I just want to thank you for the great coverage that you do on campus. And I'm so pleased that so many people have shown up. And please show up more and serve on more committees than just this one, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, questions? 